Hey guys, I'm Mike Grossell, the owner of Modern Engineering Solutions. I'm uh, wanting to kind of go over what exactly I had to do to pass the arduous uh, seismic exam um, for the California PE. It was um, a long, about 18 month grind from registering and the decision to be, want to become a California PE to actually finally passing. Um, just to give you a little bit of background, so. You, know kind of where my experience is I do a lot of site planning um, and stuff like that so I work with plats and other surveying documents and so when I went to take the surveying exam portion of this I to be honest I didn't I didn't even study I just bought a reference book which was uh, this one here um, Reza Mahali T M E S. Uh, P civil. I'll just show it here. Um, I'm not. I don't even know where they're going with these course loads and stuff. Um, I didn't. I didn't have, open the book. I just took it to the exam and passed first try. So, if you're looking to get a California P and you're heavy on the civil site design, it might be in your best interest just to, once you get approved just to schedule to buy the reference material, show up with your calculator this book and just take the test um, but that's all I'm mostly here to talk about seismic my background had nothing to do with seismic and um, it was a long haul to finally pass this um, the first thing I did was I went and studied for a little bit um, I bought the and these were the mistakes I made and at the end here I'll, I'll tell you what I recommend I went ahead and I just bought this book um, by um, Stephen Hinder, Hinder um, and just studied it a little bit, did some of the practice problems in the back, maybe a total of 15, 20 hours of studying, showed up, just these two, book and calculator, and royally failed. They give you section results for each section, and um, I think I passed one of the eight sections, so not even close. Um, so what I decided to do was, uh, I studied a little bit more. I read, read up some Reddit forms and, uh, I pro I, I just went through, read that entire book. I got both the, um, and this is going to change by the way, when you, I think this is getting, they're changing this book possibly. Yeah, I think this book's changing on the next test next year in 2026. But um, I got these, started working through pro practice problems. You can see I tabbed everything up um, for quicker references. And so um, I took some practice exams, did okay on them, got like 70%. I'll tell you that, just so you know about this book also, uh, it's by Stephen Hinder. He'll sell this to you. Um, it, the, there's three exams in here, the third one being the hardest. The first one's like really easy and the second one some people think that that's about the test level but I was getting 80% on the first test and on the last test I got like a 65 so I was like okay I think I'm close and I went and took it <clears throat> took it again so to the end would just with went in with all this and uh, tried it and barely failed I passed six of the eight sections failed two of them uh, were the results they gave me and so uh, I doubled down. I went, and this is what I would recommend starting from the beginning. I actually came to his um, seismicreview.com here, and this is where I would start. If you're like me and you don't have a bunch of civil background, I would go to these webinars here, and I, I would purchase them. I know that I, I know he's going to re release a new set here, um, but I really... If you don't have a background in this, which I had none, I would go through these webinars and, and there's going to be, he's going to go through the entire course load. There's tons of practice problems that, and even more practice problems. So I would go through that whole course. Um, I tallied it up. It's something like 40 hours of coursework total. Um, you can see here he says 70 videos. And so that's where I would start. I would do uh, all the problems 
for all the different chapters. There's these multiple choice questions to review each chapter. I would do those as you go through each one. There's something like 24 bigger practice, more complicated practice problems in the back. I would do those. And then um, I would I would take this practice exam here. And then I would take these practice exams in this order. So workshop, practice problems with each chapter, do the webinars. Then I would do all the ones in the back. Then I would come, I would take these three. Um, a little side note. When you take that course and you take the webinars, he explains, you know, hey, there's all these printouts. I would also get a binder, and he has all these little cheat sheets that are like quick reference guides for different, um, for different um, stuff. I would put those in there as well as like, there were some problems I really struggled with. Um, and I put those in the back to like how to solve them. Um, next, he's gonna give you an online class. Um, He'll get, I mean, an online test, and I would take that. That online test, it's um, it's really good, and what he'll do, you can take it multiple times, and it's timed, which is great, and when you take your test, you need to sit down for the total two and a half hours uninterrupted and take them. It's a very fast test. Um, if you're a slow test taker, like you need to practice this. The timing is brutal. I think it's one, like if the PE, the test per hour, this is like three times as fast. Even though it's only two and a half hours, there's like 55 questions, it's way condensed down. And so I would strongly make sure that you're, you're when you're doing this, this little test booklet, that you are uh, timing yourself and holding it true um, because it is, no joke. Um, the last thing I would do once you get through all that, and I, I would, I would, I'm telling you, I would do all this if I were starting from scratch. This is exactly what I do. I would uh, also buy another set of test prep exams. So you're going to take seven, two to three, seven tests, seven exams. You're going to do three here, which is the online one that he's going to email you. Um, and then I would also get this AEI one, which I consider this one, um, it's just a lot different the way the questions are asked. I think um, practice exam number three is like really hard. I didn't finish it in time. I barely passed it 70% um, when I went through it. So I'd also pick this one up. Um, another thing I just wanted to note, give a shout out um, about uh, Professor Hinder here. It, Hinner, sorry, is he, um, you're emailing, you can email him and ask questions and he'll give you guidance and he'll help coach you through this. And so it's a huge value add that he's helping that whole way through. Um, and you can, when you take the exam, by the way, you can actually bring these practice exams in with you. Um, I can tell you that on when I finally passed, there were two exact See the exact same problems in here and I actually because I was so over prepared I had 20 extra minutes and had these two problems flagged um, so I actually went back and found exactly the problem in these books um, as far as the content I can't remember specifically what sections favored more or not um, I used there's a calculator I used TI 36x pro um and that's it that's that's my advice um if you guys have any questions feel free to shoot me an email um if you're looking just for any advice mike at mod-eng.com uh, and don't take it lightly i just i want to keep reiterating this is no joke it took me um i timed it all I actually time tracked it all from my studying for the seismic it was about 236 hours of studying just to pass um i think that could have been condensed down to about 100 if i had studied more efficiently with starting with the webinars um, instead of trying to self-teach i'm a very good test taker i barely studied in college barely studied for the p didn't study for the fe passed all those so if you think you're super smart uh this is gonna be a reality check for you so, thank you guys very much take care